Hi, this is Ellen Finkelstein and I'm going to show you how you can use PowerPoint to create your own Buy Now button. And you can use this button for anything. It could say Add to Cart, it could say Download, it could have any text in it that you want. I'm going to start by inserting a rounded rectangle. And I'll check that it's the same size. That's about right. Now I'm going to click the Format tab. And for the outline, I'm going to pick a dark orange. And I'm going to click again here under Outline, choose Weight, make it a little wider. Maybe this. For the inside, I'm going to choose Shape Fill, then Gradient, and go all the way down to More Gradients. Now, depending on the version of PowerPoint you have, you might see this on the right, or you might be in a dialog box, but you'll have the same controls. I'm going to choose Gradient Fill, and I'm going to, it picked up what was uh, there previously, but I'm going to choose Rectangular, and then I'm going to pick a, you can see there are these different options, but I want one, it will be easier to see if I make this darker you'll see the, the different options here. So I want one that has the lighter color in the middle. So then I'm going to go take this outer color here and I'm going to set it to be bright orange and then the inner color I'm going to set to be just a little bit lighter. Maybe this color here. And by moving this gradient stop I can make it mostly that lighter orange and just have that border around the edge that makes it a little bit darker. You might have noticed that there's a, a highlight look here. Looks like there's something shiny there. And this is done with a semi-transparent shape on top of the box. And I'm going to show you how to make this. The first thing I'm going to do is insert an oval. And it's going to be pretty big because I want this curve to be pretty shallow, so much bigger than the shape itself, something like that. And then I'm going to take this shape and copy it and paste it and I want the shape to just be around the top half, so I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to select this, press shift and select the other one I'm going to use a feature called Merge Shapes. It'll be on different places depending on your version of PowerPoint. And then I'm going to choose Intersect. And this gives me just the shape that I want here. So I'm going to choose Outline, No Outline, and then Fill. I'm going to make it solid white. Now you can see it just disappeared. But if I put it up here, you can see it again. If this isn't open, you would right-click and choose Format Shape to display either that task pane on the right or the dialog box. And you'll see a transparency here. And you want it to be mostly transparent, let's say around 70%. And then just put it up to the top here, and it gives that effect of that some shine. The next thing to do is to type your text. So I'm going to select the rounded rectangle with caps on. I'm going to type buy now with an exclamation point. Then the next thing is just a matter of choosing, selecting it and choosing the color. I want a dark blue and the size. And you want it pretty big. Let's try that. And then you want something that's quite bold. And I found that something called Franklin Gothic worked well. Heavy. Franklin Gothic. Heavy. That looks good to me. And then I'm going to make it italic. And the italic just makes it seem like it's in a rush. And you want people to hurry up and do it. The last step is to make the button look a little bit 3D so it sticks out and it makes it more prominent. 
I'm going to choose Shape Effects, Bevel, and just choose that first bevel. So there you go. This one is a little bit lighter than the other one, so if I wanted to, I could change this color here and make it a little bit darker. I can go to more colors and just make make this a little bit darker. Let's see if I like that better. Yep, I do. So just play around with it and you, you should be able to get a really nice buy now button that way. Once you're done, all you do is drag across the whole thing and then you right click and choose Save as Picture, and then you save that image, and then you can use it on your website anywhere. Hope you found this helpful.